Again, this is finding the average rate of change of a function, but this time given the graph. It's the same thing as before, except the way you find your y values is different. So here's my first x value, here's my second x value, and then if I wanna find the y value here, y1, I will find where x is equal to five, one, two, three, four, five, and I will look for its y value. Its y value is negative six. Then I will find y2 by looking for x equal to seven, and then finding his y value, which is negative one. So now I have the coordinates I need, I can find the slope. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So negative one minus negative six over seven minus five. That's actually negative one plus six over seven minus five, or five over two, which you can type in this, or you can type in 2.5. The computer should accept either version of